Victoria Pavla from the Photoshop Artist. Welcome to my studio. A few days ago, I uploaded image I created for my client on my social media, and many of you guys asked me to record tutorial how I created this image. So, guys, today I will show it to you. We will be working with uh, Adobe Dimension CC. Let's jump. As you can see, I have opened Adobe Dimension CC, and on the left side of my screen, you can see that I have opened Creative Cloud Library. Um, with all my 3D models. Believe it or not, I have more than 700 uh, models and I downloaded all those models for free from Adobe Stock. Yes, guys, for free from Adobe Stock. So, before I will start working on my project, I would like to adjust my horizon line. I will switch to horizon tool and I will bring my horizon line down and I will adjust my horizon line. Definitely, guys, you can adjust your horizon line in any way you like. Now I will click to my a fork just like that. Um, using a select and move tool, I will bring my fork up. Now I will switch to select and a rotate tool and I will rotate my fork. Using select and scale tool, I will scale my fork um, up, uh, size up. But before that, I will click and hold shift key and I will resize it. Holding shift key, will help me to scale my uh, object proportionally. Definitely now I need to adjust my fork. I will switch to select and move tool. I will bring my fork down and slightly on the side, just like that, down. And using select and rotate tool, I will rotate my fork, just like that. And I will bring it up, just like that just like this fork. Now, guys, I would like to change um, a material for my fork. I will switch from my Creative Cloud of Library to Starter Assets. Guys, we have many starter, um, we have many uh, models, um, materials, light, lights and images. All those assets are free for us, so guys, it's a wonderful library. You can start working on your Dimension um, CC project all right away. So what I will do here, I have my favorite material, gold material. I will click on it and voila. Now guys, what I will do, I will switch um, to environment tab just like this and I will change color for my background. To change color of your background, simply click on um, background color icon just like that and you have multiple options you can um, click on image tab and um, use your own image or if you will click on a color tab you can choose any color you like i like black color with this uh, project just like that now i will switch to default um, uh, 3d models library and here i have spare um, model I will click on it using um, select and scale tool. I will scale size down just like that. I will switch to select and move tool and I will bring it up and a little bit close to the camera just like that. Maybe guys, I will scale size up. So I will switch to select and scale tool, tool and I will increase size just like this. Yes, I like it. Now, Switching to select and move tool, I will move it just like that. Maybe something like this. Perfect. Time to change material. I will switch to sell up to a materials tab, and here I have very beautiful damaged material. Guys, by the way, you can adjust um, uh, preview of your starter asset. So in any way you like, I will click on, uh, let's see, damaged glass material, just like that. And if you like, guys, you can switch back to uh, default preview. So I applied material to my pearl. If you would like to preview your uh, rendering, simply expand um, a render preview, just like that, give few seconds to dimension to analyze your image and to voila. How beautiful is it? 
Now, guys, I would like to duplicate this pearl. What I will do, I will switch to select an a scale tool and holding option key, I will duplicate it. I'm sorry. To select a move tool and I will duplicate it just like this. Maybe I will bring it uh, behind my first pearl. Let's see. Yes, definitely yes. Let's preview it. So now we have two pearls. How beautiful is it, guys? Let's continue working on our project. I will highlight my um, front pearl and holding option key, I will duplicate it just like that. I will bring it down just like that. Let's see what way. I don't know, it's difficult to make decision, but eventually we, we must make decision. And this is how I like to see my uh, pearls. Now, guys, definitely I need to duplicate it um, one more time. Holding option key, I will duplicate one more time. And now I will hold option key one more time and I will duplicate it one more time. Let's preview it. How beautiful is it, guys? I love it. I'm in love with dimension and you can see why. Amazing, amazing application. So, definitely I need to adjust second um, pearl, this one, what I will do. I will select this pearl and I will move it maybe here on the distance and same with uh, the last one, just like that. Let's preview. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love it a lot. Now, guys, I would like to add a few accents to my uh, image. I will switch to default uh, material uh, models library like this. And here, let's see uh, what uh, model I would like to use. Decision, decision, guys. Um, let's. You can you can use any um, model you like. I will click on capsule, just like that. I will switch to select and scale tool. I will scale it down, size down, just like that. Just like that, it's a lot. Just like that. Now I released shift key and I will click on a green um, square and I will size down just like this, not proportionally. Switch it to select and move tool. I will bring it up. On the side let's see just like this and maybe down what I'm trying to do I'm trying to connect my two pearls so I will switch to select and scale tool and I will size it down just like that don't rush guys maybe just like that Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is how I like to see it. I will switch to select and move tool and I will reposition it. Just like this. Now time to apply a material. I will switch to default material library and I will click on um, damage silver. Just like that. Let's preview. Beautiful, guys. I love it. If you like, guys, you can rotate your um, model. Try different uh, options. Try to uh, create something unique. Don't scare to be unique. It's always beautiful. Now I will click on select and move tool and I will reposition it just like this. And I love it. Now I will click and hold option key and I will duplicate it. I will release my option key and I will move it just like that. I will switch to select and rotate tool and I will rotate my object. Just like this, guys. Maybe something like this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I will switch to select and move tool and I will reposition it. And I will bring it up. Just like this. And again, guys, don't rush. 
try to um, be creative. Let's preview it. Beautiful. Maybe, guys, maybe. I like everything about it, but I would like to um, maybe scale down um, connection um, uh, between my pearls. So what I will do? I will uh, switch to select and scale to, and I will scale it proportionally down. Just like that. Perfect. Now I will switch to select and move tool, and I will reposition it. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, guys. Same with the first one. I will switch to select and scale tool and holding uh, shift key, I will scale it proportionally down. I will switch to select and move tool and I will reposition it. Just like that. Let's switch uh, to a render preview. And voila, how beautiful is it? I love it, guys. So, time to apply um, different light to our object, to our image. Light is very, very important. We have different options to apply light to our uh, dimension project, but today we will um, uh, use only one method. So, what I will do? I will switch to a uh, light tab, and here, guys, we have all default lights. I will switch on studio war warm key uh, light just like that and voila in properties panel i will increase intensity for my light just like that i can change rotation guys our um light rotation is also very important different um if you will rotate your light, you will have different you will apply different mood to your image so try guys try to rotate uh, before you will uh, say yes, this light, specifically this location of my light, I like the most. So let me rotate my light just like that. Also, guys, you can colorize your uh, light, but I don't want to colorize my uh, light today. But also, I would like to enable sunlight. I will enable sunlight. I can increase or decrease sunlight intensity, cloudness, high and definitely rotation let's preview just like this guys how beautiful is it Be believe or not we are done if you would like to uh, continue working on your project you, you can do it absolutely no problem uh, you can apply different um, models you can add different models you can add different uh, materials you can create very complex image but i created this image for my client she just opened her um jewelry line and this image will be a part of her uh, website and she was happy she didn't want anything busy she wants a very simple but very beautiful image and also if you like and i did it you can add text in Photoshop. After a Dimension CC will finish your uh, rendering, you can open this image in Photoshop and continue working on your project. So guys, after you will uh, say, yeah, I love this image, this is exactly what I wanted, uh, time to um, render your uh, project. Click on render. Here um, you need to specify expo uh, file, expert um, file name. Let's name it tutorial. You, you you should specify quality. My quality is always high unless if I would like to quick preview on uh, my um, project and I'm not sure if I like it or not. I will um, first render my um, project in low quality, but um, my final rendering always in is always in high uh, quality so we will switch to high um quality and voila definitely before i will forget definitely you need to specify psd because um if you would like to continue working on your project in photoshop you will um have all layers available so i specify psd and I will click render. Guys, I will not click on render right now because it will take um, some time to render my project. Um, I will click, but I will not finish. Just like that, 
and voila, give uh, Dimension CC a few seconds to analyze your image and when um, Dimension CC will start uh, rendering your, uh, start working on um, your uh, rendering. After Dimension CC will finish your rendering, you will be able to um, click uh, open in Photoshop. Um, if you will click open in Photoshop, you will be able to open uh, your um, Dimension project in Photoshop and continue working on your project. So guys, this is what I wanted to share with you today. If you have any questions, as usual, I'm here, just ask. I will be more than happy to answer to any of your questions. And if you want me to record some specific tutorial for you, guys, just let me know, comment below, and I will be more than happy to record um, some specific tutorial specifically for you. Okay, guys, thank you very much, and I will see you later. Bye.